Absolutely. You know, we said we was going to do it and we doing it. Yeah, Let's exactly. go. Let's go. Right. So now, one thing that I do, go into a little bit more of your mm-hmm. business, because I tell you, we, we spoke about living somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Do you think your move to, you know, Atlanta and what have you is kind of what, what, what started this business? And tell us a little more about it. Um, I definitely think me moving to Atlanta is what started my business or kind of uh, contributed to me starting my business mm-hmm. because when I went to Atlanta, I noticed that it didn't have different Chicago traditions that mm-hmm. I'm used to. It didn't at the time have as many heroes as it does now. Mm-hmm. It didn't have as many, you know, Nancy Pizza. It definitely didn't have any of the vintner ships that I have in my vending machine. Wait, wait, wait. Any what? Hold on. Let vintner me see. We, hey, let's I see got that. something. Yeah, we wanna, let's see. Kind of show, let's see how that looks, you know. Yeah, hold it. I might have to get one of these suckers today. Yes. Make sure that camera can see it. You know what I'm saying? So me moving to Atlanta inspired me to put others on with the Chicago tradition. So. Of the different snacks that we are known for. Okay, what, what okay, what we get? What you got in there? So Check in here, <laughs> I have some David sunflower seeds. Okay, that's not something that's really, it's not everywhere, right? It, it's, um, so you can get sunflower seeds, but not nacho cheese, mm-hmm. so. You dig, see. And we got the corn nuts as well. Okay. And you know we gotta have the watermelon suckers. <laughs> so, hey, now I see something in it that I know is hard to get everywhere. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. So, you know we got the sour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be great. See, with my oh, <laughs> the yeah. hot crunchy curls. I'm telling you. People <laughs> don't know about that. They're too hot, though. Yes. Exclusively in Chicago. It's exclusively. So when I just saw, um, like you said, in Atlanta, they didn't have this. I'm like, let me go back home and put others on with this. Mm-hmm. And of course, Crazy. you know, I got the candy in here. The you did. Candy. Penny candy. Yes, They're sure. not a penny no more, but well, you yeah. know those are still penny <laughs> candy. Yesterday's price is not today's price. Yesterday's price <laughs> is not today's <laughs> price. Not I like that. Yeah, so that's really, it, it kind of, it definitely contributed to me starting this mm-hmm. as well. Because I'm like, man, I, I, that's what was part of the thing, me missing home. Cause that Waffle House was not cutting it every day. Ooh, so. damn, I love Waffle House. I know, hey, but yeah, next thing you need to do is throw a couple pizza puffs in there or something. Oh, oh, Italian yeah. beef. Oh, yeah. you know yeah. But look, that's funny that's because smart, I have family all over like the U.S. I got family in L.A. Mm-hmm. I have family in Atlanta. I have family in in uh, Texas. And anytime any one of us goes out there, mm-hmm. or you know, they ask for care packages with mm-hmm. hot crunchy yeah, curls. Yep. And, all that same mm-hmm. type of stuff in it. You know what I mean? So my yeah. sister, who's a big, you know, she's the one that, well, yo, she's sure. sending out yes, sending out those packages. And she, when I showed her this, she was like, this is that's a great yeah. ass idea, you know? So, that. yeah, we yeah. likes that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And, hey, you're going to take some work off her back. She can just send them the package. You okay. did? You know what I'm saying? You but I, Chicago. I got hey, you. Hey, likes that. Yeah. Hey, what's yeah. that's at Chi Town underscore snacks, yes. right? Yes, yeah. don't forget the underscore. Don't thing. forget the underscore if you're on the gram <laughs> and if you're on Facebook. Mm-hmm. It's Chi Town Snacks. You dig? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> I don't want y'all to forget we did say Dr. Q. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Just, we just we just putting that out there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Hey, I love this. I love praising our black women. You dig? We got to do more of this. You know what I'm saying? This is black excellence right here. Entrepreneur. I know you, you're young, right? I am. Right. <laughs> <I am. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> doctor so so what what made you want to become a doctor great question great question i get that question all the time so actually um it wasn't my first bit um i wasn't like you know how people grow up and they're thinking like i want to be a doctor when i grow mm-hmm. up that was not my journey and when watching um, the cosby show i was like i'm gonna be a doctor yeah, <laughs> no i did not um it's funny um so for the first 10 years of my life i actually worked in like corporate business stuff my first job out of college i worked for transunion i'm sure okay. a lot of people yeah, yeah, Transunion, yeah, yeah. one of the top three credit bureaus out there did that for about 10 years did a bunch of like consulting some direct marketing some information technology technology, business intelligence, all that jazz, all that fancy stuff. And then after about 10 years or so, I wanted to do something differently. And so I was like chatting it up with my mom, like, damn, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And I was like, you know what? I want to be a teacher. And so I sat out to um, sort of work for CPS. They were actually partnering with the University of Chicago, um, Mm. where they were actually recruiting people who were coming from a different industry and decided to, you know, be a teacher. They were specifically... we looking for math and science teachers, and I'll pause. I was just going to ask, so you were looking at taking a pay cut? 
I, I was. All right, all right. I, I so was. keep going, keep going. I was, but on the flip side, I was looking at those summers off. So okay, it's kind of like okay. Like a trade-off okay. balance, right? So at any rate, so then I went through the motions of um, going through this process where um, I applied to be a CPS math and teacher. So lo and behold, I did not get it. And I was like, well, why? I would be so great in math. I did like Mm -hmm. advanced calc at like 15. Like, Mm -hmm. come on, what's going on? (laughs) And then come to find out I did not have enough credit hours to, you know, be a math teacher. I think I had only did like advanced calc and then that was it. And so you needed 30 something credit hours. I had 15, so it wasn't Mm -hmm. enough. So me and my mom was sitting at, sitting around a table she was like you know what let's just just go try to be a doctor go try to be a doctor I was like all right fine and so I tried the stars were aligned like my resume wasn't that impressive at all but the stars were clearly aligned and they accepted me right away and the rest is and what so they accepted you into med school yes I went to University of Illinois how long did how long was was that process from going into med school and then yeah 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 so great question so I did have to take a a couple of um, prerequisites classes I did it at University of Illinois um, mm-hmm. I did that for about a year and a half just to fulfill some of the mm-hmm. re- medical school requirements and then right after that I got in right away and then medical school is four years it was definitely a culture shock for me I hadn't been in school in a while and I was like what is this mm-hmm. What's the stethoscope how do I yeah. take blood mm-hmm. like again I come from business right so. did you feel mm-hmm. did you feel behind at all some of the other students that were like this is they knew this was their thing i did i did um what's that phenomenon that they um say when you're not supposed i'm like drawing a blank here um where you don't think you're good enough to be in the room there's a term Mm -hmm. i'm like drawing a blank Mm -hmm. right now um but at any rate, I definitely felt that. So after four years of medical school, then I went to residency. That's when right. shit. That's really when it's hit. really. Right, right, right. Oh my god, I hate. It. I will go down, and I say this on camera. I will go down <laughs> in the history of a medical resident as the person that hates residency the most.